today in this video i am going to give you a demonstration on study of piezoelectric transducer so what is piezoelectric the piezoelectrics are certain type of materials which generates some of electrical charges or millivolts when a mechanical force or stress is applied to it by this trainer kit we will study the behavior of piezoelectric transducer which is made from generally a piezoelectric material so this is our trainer kit which is study of piezoelectric transducer the order code is 2122498.2 we can also measure the outputs on the cro or dso by using this probe terminals output so that we can get the single spike or continuous measurement of the piezoelectric shocks and the mechanical stresses the other element is piezoelectric transducer the element is used in prism setup is a disc type led zirconite type of ceramic crystal which is multiply stacked to a number of identical plates one above the other and which is electric elect electrically connected in series the complete setup is plastic molding one face of crystal is a epoxy so that iron plate with two fixing drills the pressure port is come under stress when the ceramic mass suspended vertically a spring constant is also provided so that the disc can be easily move move by applying a mechanical force from upwards and downward direction now we have connected the complete setup to the power source by using the power cord provided with the trainer the power on switch is used to turn on the power and we have some readings on the dpm or dvm the reset button is provided for resetting the reading for also for, for discharging the capacitor provided in the tank circuit now with the special arrangement of this connector we can connect the transducer to the circuit and now there are two types of measurement and two methods of measurement which we have to perform for the study of piezoelectric transducer so there will be two types of measurement for single measurement the measurement will replicates the shock behavior for the any of material and the periodic shocks will be we have the vibration of any of the material for shock process we will first reset the switch to reset after holding the transducer in hand and switch off the reset mode so we will follow the manual and as described over here we can see we have first reset the reading whatever the reading we have to make it zero and now we will again turn the reset button to the actual measurement condition now we will hold the transducer in hand and now we will bring the shock by moving the hand downwards and stop it suddenly the magnitude will be displayed on the dpm so we will perform the shock behavior like this or here you can see the magnitude is provided on the dpm we can note down this reading and do the other measurement also now for resetting this reading we just need to press reset and the dpm goes to zero and we again turn this reset to the working condition now for vibration or periodic shocks we will hold the transducer in hand reset display once so we will reset the display and now we will apply vibration by moving the hand in either side and we will note the value of e each time this time c charges to p when the first vibration or shock will be provided and continuously the other values on the periodic vibrations will be summed up with the previous value of e and the result can be graphed or plotted graphically so we'll do the vibration shock like this once and when we again provide some more vibrations the readings will be summed up to the dvm by using this we can plot the graph and with the different readings we can get the graph at different shocks of the observation so after doing the continuous measurement we will find at the first vibration shock the magnitude will be around 0.5 and similarly at the second shock the magnitude will increase slightly and similarly the magnitude continuously goes on increasing in some of the times the 
magnitude will be dropped slightly or increase in very lower amount. So we can observe and plot the graph as described in this manual. Now using the CRO we can observe the vibration or shock pulse on the CRO using this prop terminal over here. I have set the CRO on the single measurement. The triggering settings you can see over here which is trigger type edge, channel source 1 of course and slope is rise mode in single and coupling AC. The measurement will be only taken using a conventional CRO for lower sweep settings for proper measurement. Now I will connect the CRO probe on the positive and turn the reset button to the measurement mode and carefully use the element and will provide a single shock pulse and observe the output. Here you can see in a single measurement the output is taken on the CRO pulse over here you can see this is the first shock pulse and the second slight shock pulse is also observed on the CRO. You can study the waveform as given in the user manual also. The bouncing sweep is the second and the first is the lower sweep where the magnitude is about 0.26 volt. So that was the complete demonstration of the study of piezoelectric transducer. You can refer the user manual for the detailed study of different calculations provided with the piezoelectric transducer study and you can also contact to Tesla Technologies Private Limited for the further queries. Hope you like this video and you get to understand about the piezoelectric working. Thank you for watching.